term cosmology refers to the branch of astrophysics which is concerned with origin, nature, structure, and evolution of the universe. A cosmological model is therefore a mathematical representation that seeks to describe the observable universe as well as its history. For a model to be selected, it must be 1. In accordance with current physical knowledge. 2. It must explain some phenomena already known. And 3. Must be able to predict the results of certain experiments not yet carried out or explain the problems that the standard model does not explain. Other criteria are sometimes taken into consideration, but these are the most important and the most notable ones. But what was the first model ever developed? It was Einstein who developed the first model after publishing the theory of relativity. Einstein thought that the universe would be static and he introduced a new constant into his equations called the cosmological constant through which he obtained the static universe. But the results found by Hubble proving that the universe is indeed expanding have pushed Einstein to return on his model. Years after, the Dutch de Sutter, the Russian Friedman and the Belgian Lemaitre have introduced non-static universes as a solution to the equations of relativity. Friedman's model dependent on the density of matter in the universe. It is this model which even today is used as a basis for cosmological modeling. Furthermore, this model admits that 1. The universe is homogeneous, which means it has the same properties everywhere on a cosmological scale. 2. The laws of physics are universal and the same wherever we are. 3. It is isotropic and expanding, which means that it is the same wherever the direction we look at. However, this universe was denser and warmer in the past, which gave birth to the Big Bang model. The friedman lemaitre models use three parameters which totally characterize the evolution of the universe. These parameters are 1. The Hubble constant, which characterizes the rate of expansion of the universe. 2. The mass density parameter, which measures the ratio between the density of the universe and a center density called critical density related to the Hubble constant. 3. The cosmological constant, which represents a force opposing gravitation. all gets a little complicated, here's an explanation. The density of matter within the universe is the key parameter which will make it possible to predict its evolution. If it's very dense, gravitation will eventually take over expansion and it will return to its original state. Otherwise, the expansion will continue indefinitely. The density of matter in the universe will therefore determine the geometry of the universe. At a high density corresponds a closed universe, while at a density lower than the critical density corresponds an open universe. Note that a closed universe is necessarily of finite size, while a flat or open universe can be both finite and infinite. All the measurements that have been made so far were not able to highlight the curvature of the universe. The measurement provided by the WMMP satellites confirmed this fact. The universe would therefore be flat. But this fact poses a question. If it is flat, it is because the density of matter is equal to the critical density. But the matter visible in the universe corresponds to only 5% at most of this density. So what is the rest? To answer this question, we must use dark matter as an argument. Dark matter is a mysterious material that is supposed to be distributed throughout the observable universe without electrical charge 
and interacting only very slightly with normal matter so it remains undetectable. This matter presents one of the biggest mysteries of our universe and the Big Bang model is strongly criticized because of our incapacity to elucidate its mystery. This problem, as well as others, gave birth to other theories that aim to complete or refute the Big Bang model. But to understand them well, we must first explain the Big Bang theory. This will be mentioned in the next video in which we will talk about the Big Bang, the phases of the creation of our beautiful universe, and other cosmological models. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. subscribe.